Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to paint this beautiful tropical island silhouette and I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful moon look like it's underneath the water and easy techniques to make these beautiful, beautiful palm trees. I'm Alison Pryor and I teach YouTube videos in real time, step by step, so you can follow along with me. So let's get started with this painting. So all you need for this painting is some red paint and some yellow and some white and some black because the tropical island that we're going to do is a silhouette and we won't need very much paint as a limited palette. And what else you will need for brushes is you're going to need a fan brush and if you don't have a fan brush you can use a flat brush. Okay, so you can try if, if you have a fan brush, that'd be great. If you don't have a fan brush, then you can take a flat brush. As long as it's chiseled edge, sable. So we need a nice chiseled edge. And let's see, let's see. And maybe you might need a flat bristle brush, an inch, so we can put on the sky. So we're going to start first by taping with painter's tape. We're going to paint it off, come up over halfway. So it's about a third, thirds. And when you go up over halfway, we have less sky and more water. Now take your bristle brush, your one inch, and we'll put it into red. Make sure that your brush is a little damp, not wet, but a little damp and then let's just start painting up here put some red on I'm gonna make it very easy for you painting for beginners or anybody who want who likes to learn some new techniques or want to refresh their skills haven't painted for a little while so we'll just put on some red first of all so many different ways you can start a painting but I find if we just start with the basics first, that it will make it so much easier for you. Because you're working with acrylics though, you have to try to be careful to do smaller areas at a time so they won't draw. So you can, if you have to work with a smaller area, if you're adding more uh, different color paint, then you have to work with a smaller area because you don't want it to dry if you need the other paint to sort of blend in with the the basic background color. So we want to keep that wet so we can add some more um, some more things that we're going to put in here, some more colors. So we want to keep it wet, so let's put lots of paint on. Make sure you double load your brush. Double load it. I don't know what size canvas you're using, but I'm using 11 by 14. The smaller your canvas is, you won't have to use as much paint. If your canvas is really big, 16 by 20 or more, you're going to need a lot of paint. And you're going to need these smaller areas. So you got a really nice sky on there now. That's pretty. Now while that's wet, now what we want to do, we got our red background done. So what we want to do now is we want to take our red and we are going to add just a teeny bit of black to it, darken it up, okay? Not much, just a little bit. You can add blue to your red instead of your other than black. Um, I'm just adding a little bit of black because that's the color I want. But you can add blue. Just add a few dark shadows up here in the corner. Now I'm just taking my brush like this on the chiseled edge and I'm pulling in quick strokes on the edge, on the corner. Start at the, at the corner, start at the edge of the canvas, that way you'll have more control over what you put in there. So just put it in and get the dark shadows going on there. Good. Now, a little bit of a dark shadow, see? Then you can clean off your brush and then you can take your brush and flip it around this way and just smooth it all out a little bit. Just take your brush and very gently 
go over what you just did but gently like your feather touching it you don't want to blend it totally in that way you you can't see it anymore now all your paint is wet at this point we're working wet on wet good now what we'll do now is we will clean off our brush a little bit and we'll add some yellow some yellow to our brush and a little bit of red kind of get an orangey look all right a little bit of yellow a little bit of red that's all just a little bit of red a little bit of orange and we will just pull in a few little yellow cloudy looking things and just pull them in just um, let's see squiggle your hand around I'm getting it I'm getting a decent feel to that just touch and wiggle your hand around to get a little bit of a cloud look almost like you're making little, little tiny circles all right and we lighten that up after now let's put another orangey look over here on top of your just squiggle it around just like you're you're trying to make a cloud there we go good there we go now over in this corner over here we'll get some more yellow and red we'll make a little orangey look and we will with your brush on the chiseled edge just make a couple of squiggle your hand around sort of so you can make some clouds they look like clouds all right just move your hand we'll go back over and make some highlights after same here just sort of touch and push and squiggle your hand around and get a nice little cloud see I'll put some more in wherever you want then you get that highlights good that's nice and anything left over on your brush you can squiggle your hand around and get a few little clouds in the sky we don't want big lot now because we've got things going on that's kind of nice good, that's nice now let's just take our flat brush again flat chiseled sable brush and we will add a bit of yellow to highlight some of those clouds so I have some yellow on there and I'm just going to put a few little brighter yellows in here just on the top just to get a little bit more color in there just tapping it on a little bit there we go nice little cloud there it's pretty and on the top of this one wherever you put your clouds just put on tap 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 just right on the very top of that cloud that you already made get some nice brighter yellows good we don't want a pure yellow we want to have some nice so let's just tap a little bit on this one here just tap tap get some more yellow if you need it Just get a few little yellows on there. Good. Tap, tap, tap. There we go. That just brightens them up a little bit more. Good. Now this time let's take off our tape. We'll put our moon on last. All right, so this time I'd like for you to get out a fan brush. And we'll use the fan brush for our water. Now at the bottom, so we'll take our fan brush, make sure you dampen it off in your water and tap it off in your tissue and just get some red paint. And then we're just gonna do the whole bottom. We'll make this very simple. 
and put in our red match that line there that's going to be a horizon line so just leave a little space there so you know what the horizon line is and then just come on down go right across go right across there we go so I'm, I'm holding the fan brush like this good over I'm just leaving a little space there so I know where the horizon line is I'm going to do the whole bottom of this canvas in red. Good. Back and forth. Quick strokes. Get it on as good as you can. Good. See? So simple. I'm going to make this as simple as I can for you. Let's just go down here. And we'll go down to we'll leave some space down the bottom for a black piece of land that we're going to use for our palm trees. Just go back and forth. Fill all that in. Good. Keep working on your red. Decide how far down we want to go. So I'm just putting it on there. I'm just going back and forth. Back and forth. Good. So let's go down here. I would say we're getting pretty close to where we need to go. So, we're just working with red right now. It can be um, crimson red or cad red, whatever you have on hand, as long as it's red. I think that's far enough. Good. Now we have that done. Now, Get that much done. And now you're going to put your fan brush back in your water. And you're going to take your flat brush out. Flat brush, sable. And you're going to pick up some black. Just put black on both sides of your brush. And then we'll get the nice little. So we decide what way we want. So we want a nice little hump here or wherever you make some little humps because that's your beach so you can make it the way you want it. There we go. Good. I'm just going back and forth. There we go. All down on the just need a place for our trees to sit. Make that nice smooth line. Just fill it in. Good. Almost done. That's pretty simple, isn't it? That's all you need, see? So you can have your beach whatever way you want it, whatever shape. Good. Now take your fan brush again, or your flat brush, it's okay. I'm going to use my fan though. And I'm going to add a little bit of red. And I'm going to add a little bit of black. Like I said, you can use blue. I just want to use black to darken up my red and I'm going to put some shadow under here Just quick little strokes just to separate and to give that shadow look pick up some more black and red when you need it A 
little bit of shadows going on here. Try to get that over here. Just a little bit in that corner. Good. I'm using a fan brush because I like the strokes that it's giving me. I'm just bringing a little bit down here. I'm just pulling it way over into the red. All the paint is still wet. Work wet onto wet. And you can turn your brush this way now. Instead of this way, you can turn it this way and just drag that into your red. Soften it up a little bit better. See? Simple. Now, let's try, maybe we'll try our flat brush if you're not using it yet. Now what we'll do is pick up some yellow and we'll put that on the horizon line so we get some yellows going down in as a reflection from those yellows on top. Good. Just get some reflections from up there. Just quick strokes. Because the bottom part now is the water. So you want to get a little reflection there. Because your paint is wet, it's giving you kind of a pinkish, which is kind of nice. Good. Here we go. The more yellow you put on your brush, the more yellow you get on your paint. Just little quick strokes. Good. Just bring that over into the red. Turn your brush. Now instead of having your brush this way, let's flip it around and just pull that in to soften it up. Good. Get some more yellow. Put a bit of yellow down here on the horizon line. It's okay if you go up into the sky because we're getting reflections from the sky coming down into the water. There we go, just go across. Just gonna put a little bit over here. Nice. So we're just kind of lightening up and giving it some reflections and some shadows. Good. Well, thank you very much for painting along with me and I hope you enjoyed that painting. And if you liked this video, then you can subscribe so you can get more free videos. And you can like, share if you could, if uh, you think it could help other people. And if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments section below. And, uh, you, or you can email me at alisonpryoryahoo.com. So I'll see you in the next video.